Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Sonella Sabovic. And I'm Andrew Perez. Here's a look at your top stories today. The Washington Post reporting about a deal in the works between Israel, the U.S., and Hamas. The agreement will free dozens of women and children held hostage in Gaza in exchange for a five-day pause in fighting. The Post says the hostage releases could begin within the next several days. Israel would reportedly freeze combat operations while 50 or more of what are believed to be a total of 239 hostages are released every 24 hours. One man is dead and another is in the hospital after a shooting in northwest Miami-Dade. Neighbors say that they found the men with gunshot wounds inside of a gold SUV Saturday. Police have detained two suspects connected to the shooting. Also this, the University of Miami pairing with local and federal agencies to conduct a crisis exercise. The drill is testing the capabilities of first responders, health system operations, and other emergency officials to prepare for a real-life scenario. And a 48-inch pipe burst left a watery mess for residents in Hollywood. Crews worked to clean up and decontaminate impacted areas on Saturday. And officials say that the cleanup efforts will continue through this today. And the city still urges the public to avoid swimming, fishing, or using the waters in the immediate area of the plant until further notice. Well, as breaking news happens, we've got you covered on air and online. That's right. Just head over to local10.com for more local news, coverage, and updates. Have a great day.